Yeah, so guys, and welcome to day four of the Rose of Glory, and an amazing episode this is, because this is the episode where we finally are hitting a million coins. So four days, a million coins from zero. It's not uh, not too bad, but yeah, in this episode we've got a few SBCs, we've got some UCL um, selling from investments, we've got some chem style flipping. And uh, I think as well, our investment's coming in slightly through the UCL Mikey matchup. So do enjoy the episode. So we were selling on some of the UCLs we bought yesterday because uh, we just invested in them last night. So I was like, they're quite rare cards that do well. This morning, they've kind of banged a bit. Hassaj bought for 3k. We've got like three of him for 3k. Seven for seven. Uh, Campbell bought for four five. Seven for seven two. Uh, Anua got for three five. Seven for. I'd say they, you know, they don't may not sell for these prices, but we've got a lot of them listed up. So the plan of action today is going to be selling all these UCLs. Obviously, I want to sell them all before 6 p.m. Because 6 p.m. they are going to get resupplied in packs. And as a result, become very common. But that means I've got eight hours to sell that. And I think I've got another, like, 70 in the club. So should be doing uh, should be doing pretty, pretty well. As I say, I got these for relatively cheap prices. Going for 5k. Survey says... Um, probably going to be able to get about 7k out of him. Um, but yeah, obviously, when I picked up loads, I've already sold this guy for 6.9k. What do we get this one for? 4.9k, yeah, I'd say. So these players are really, really weird, because, as I said, there's no upgrade to the gold cards, but I sold a Paradise just now for, I think, what's that for, 5k? I think I might bought that one for 5k, I did. But, um, but yeah, so, um, just picked up all these last night. The plan of action is going to be selling these, mixed up with a little bit of the old chem style trading, and, uh, yeah, should be a good run. So, just showing you the irrationalism, probably a new word, uh, of people. Lord Lee would have went and got in for 4k, so for 7.5k. And uh, Merritt went and got for 1.5k and selling him on. So again, someone just asked me, why am I buying them? They have no stat increases. I think more the answer is, why are other people buying them for more? You know, do they think they're investments? Do they think the cards are better? Do they think they're going to be dynamic cards? I'm not uh, not too sure. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, you know, we're making some good money on it, so I'll take it. Just want to give you guys a little update. We're also having voice breaks. Uh, another Hassan sold for a 7.2. I bought for 3k. And Mariano sold for 8k, bought for 3k. As a, uh, I'm really, really happy how fast these are selling on because, obviously, you know, there is a, there is a hurry in selling them, but the money in these, I honestly might have turned over about three to 400k on these players, given that, uh, you know, given that they keep doing well. Happy Zuma. Happy, happy Zuma. Happy, happy Flair. Not bad at all. We're going to go sell Zuma there for 8.5. Because, again, we've got, uh, we still got six and a, so we've got seven and a half hours to sell these players on. Really, it's the demanded non-rares. Like, imagine Raphael would be going for a bit because the right backs have been banging. Raphael was going for... Eh, there's one there for 5-2. Let's go set up for like 5-5 five, five then. I said, I'm selling at a relatively... Um, a relative hurry, I guess. But, um, you know, we can we can get away with stuff. Uh, who else could we go and sell on right here? I think Kazam might do quite well. Bought Kazam for 3.5. Survey says... Yeah, I'm very sure he gets 6k. Maybe just go under with 5-9-5-7. But yeah, not bad whatsoever. So I'm very, very happy with how these are doing. We've also, by the way, picked up some deals with... Um, with shadows, so we got ourselves a uh, Lewis here. Now I don't normally pick up plebs like this. Uh, I normally keep it to the uh, players on the guide, but 2k for a left back from the uh, Prem, I'd, uh, I'd be very surprised if he didn't sell on. Also, I actually did go and pick up a uh, another deal this morning. I have to make sure I go gold. It's going to show me the UCL, so do you be fair with. Here we go. We got ourselves an Angeleo right here for uh, 5k. Going to be selling him for 6.5k, and uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. So be actually picking up some good deals with the uh, champion. What is it with the um, Chemstar trading just while we're selling our Champions League players on, but not selling them because obviously we need to prioritise selling on the Champions League players. So we just got ourselves uh, another deal. We got Berwig right here with a right forward and the Hunter Chem style. So two more things sold on. What's that? Lovely Kazawa and still selling the silvers on because we could get a league SBC at any point, bringing down the silvers as well. So a little bit hurrying selling two players, but let's go see how uh, Berwig is with a Hunter. It should be quite weird. Should be quite good because he's a relatively demanded player. He said, "Jesus Christ!" Uh, flooded right there for three k. Now, do any of these have a? Uh, any of these are right forward? No. Okay. So, how much is the chem style of right wing to right forward? Because that might be where the money is then. Right wing to right forward. Are you expensive? You are indeed. There we go. So there's there'll be a little bit of money added on him because of that. So. You can probably add, probably sell him on for 5k, I imagine, actually, because um, because of the chem style and the scooby doo doo Thing is, I'm actually not going to sell him right now, because, again, I need to prioritize selling the UCL card. So, because for now, he's going to hold price. You know, he's always going to be about 4 or 5k, whatever. Um, whereas the UCLs, again, are going to drop at 6pm, so I do need to make sure I sell them on. Two more things sold on. Uh, is that another Kazao? Or is that the same Kazao? And there you go. And Evans as well. Lovely. 
So I got two deals. The, uh, the actual field where I normally use isn't working. So what I'm having to do is literally just snipe them for the cheapest. So let's go and see what we got right here. We got a cluster on them for 3k. I guess we'll show you what sold on first. Uh, again, bought for 5k and bought for 4k. So not bad. But uh, yeah, we got a cluster on right there for uh, 3k. Let's go and see how much we can sell him for them. Plus, he should be actually uh, quite a good card, to be honest. He said. And there we go. Klossman's brilliant. There we go. Wow. Amazing. Klossman, I'm going to try and sell for 6k to be realistic. And then Bertrand, we bought for um, 3.2. I'm not very, you know, I don't think it's very promising. Yeah, yeah I didn't expect much. Um, I'd say we'll keep both of them at the moment because we need to prioritize selling UCLs on. But uh, Klossman's very good. Bertrand, not too good. I knew Bertrand wasn't good when I bought him. I, I kind of bought him as, uh, okay, that's not going to be decent, but... Yeah, not bad. Uh, as I said, what we're doing right now is we're literally just sniping for the uh, cheapest right now. We'll go kill that off right there. Go down there to 3.2k. Uh, there's a silver on the market, which is brilliant. You keep just going to compare price back out, and then as soon as anything pops up, buy it. Because worst comes to worst, you're going to be a seller for 3.3k. But uh, yeah, you just want to keep doing this over and over and over again so we can get some live snipe uh, until a goal pops up. Uh, so you literally want to buy anything that pops up. Happy Zuma, lovely. 3k, I think he's actually going for about... I think he's going for about 6k or 5, 6k or something like that. So, yeah, not bad. I said we're just going to keep doing this and buy absolutely anything that pops up. Give you guys a little update. Up Meccano bought for 3.9k. Giroud bought for 5k. And Tossard bought for 5k. Looking all good. Um, what do you have here then? I uh, got some deals with um, Kevin Stars as well. So, lovely. Raul Albiol got for 2 3. Be able to sell that for 4k pretty easily. I'm um, pretty sure I can sell. I'm pretty sure I can just sell each of these for 4k. So, yeah, not bad. It's probably about another 3k right there. But I said these UCLs are coming in absolutely clutch right now. More cards selling on. Uh, Martinez uh, bought for 1.8, sell for 6.2k. Rigani bought for 4k, sell for 6k. I think, really, right now, because I can't actually get much work with Chemistars, and uh, because I don't have too many UCLs uh, left to sell on, and because we've still got 6 hours until. Um, Six hours until six pm. I think I'm actually going to go and try and snipe some UCLs right now using um, using the fifth and ninth minute uh, sort of like scrolling method as such, uh, just because there is really decent money if you can find some decent deals and sell them within the uh, within time. So we've uh, just got back to a little bit more of the uh, chem style sniping. We've got ourselves Gaia right here for three point four k. So uh, I did a little bit. Well, I've done a bit of pre research, and I know that guy should sell for about six point five k if I'm not wrong. So got him for three point four. Survey says. Literally 6.5k, Jesus Christ, that's tragic. Um, but there you go, so 3k on that method. I actually kind of messed up as well, because I normally just go, I normally go for a cycle of like Premier League left backs and that lot, but I just straight up searched left backs and found him, and, and I guess that's a good thing. When you already know everyone's prices, you can just throw in whatever sort of filters you can go through, like, I don't know, one position by one position by one position, or you can go through the leagues or whatever. It doesn't really matter, because as long as you know how much the players are worth, and you'll get into that fifth and ninth minute, you can, uh, you know, find yourself some deals, but... Uh, so I've gone and done an SVC and a very limp one of that. Uh, it's going to cost us 950 because we've used a bunch of the untradables. This guy's untradable, this guy's untradable, Centimid's untradable, this Centimid's untradable, Goalkeeper's untradable, so 950 for a 7.5k pack. You cannot complain uh, until you get absolutely nothing in the pack, then you have awful right to complain. Now, I do actually have a uh, duplicate player, so what's hold on here then? More UCL cards again, bought Bender for 4k, bought as a pattern for under 5k. UCL's again. Still very good. We've got a uh, T minus five and a half hours to sell them all. I'm going to try and open the packet. It's not going to let me. There you go. We did use this guy in the SVC and we decided to buy another one. So here we go. 7.5k pack for 950 coins. What do we get? Oh, it's uh, something. Don't ruin it. Oh, that's moving too fast. Uh, I've made a game on good. It's going to be a rare gold. It's striker. It's going to be Blotty, who's actually tipped off to get a team of the week because he got two goals. But... It's not going to be too demanding when he's out of packs. But I mean, for 950 coins, you can't really make, you know. Oh, wow. That's a very good pack. Look at that. You get Nani. Does Nani sell for SBCs? Nope. He's rare, so it doesn't really matter. Fazio is going to be okay. You're in the second Spanish La Liga. You are in the second Spanish La Liga, which means you're about 2k. Look at that, eh? Literally, very, very nice pack. I cannot complain whatsoever. And apparently, at the stadium, still selling on for a little bit of coins because of the uh, objective. What? Not really. But there we go. Not bad. So we've been doing loads of special, um, what is it, chemistry style sniping, and now finally because we've uh, sold on, well basically list up at least all of our UCLs, uh, we can finally start, I guess, showing you guys some deals we got, and uh, having a look what sort of money we've made. So, uh, first off we've got ourselves a Hulk right here for 3k, this is a really, really good deal. Um, let's go and show you what we're going to be able to sell him for. Hulk, 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 bought for 3k with a Hunter Chem style. We can sell him for, maybe even more than this, nope. We can sell him for a very easy 5k, probably even 6k at this point. Uh, we did get a Juan Jesus for 3k. 
Uh, let's see if he's going to pop under this. Uh, J U A N. Jesus. There you go. You got this guy's shadow for 3k. Uh, let's see what we're going to be at 7 for. Uh, not bad. 4.5k pretty easily. Uh, next player we got. We got Silver. We got a. Uh, what is he called? I'll be able to find him for you. We got a silver, is that one of them pipe? Oh, Fusa Mensa, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, then we got these two, which are, are trash. So, uh, yeah, not going to be too bad. Made a little bit of money with those. And I say at the moment, just kind of sniping, um, either sniping them for minimum or just doing going through the uh, roster one by one. by one. So, uh, we're doing a little bit of chem side training. We managed to get ourselves a uh, Richardson right here with Hunter for 5k. Now, if I'm not wrong, Richardson's normal card is probably about 5k. We're going to check what's over on, on in a sec. But, um, yeah, so I don't believe... It is a bad buy. So we got him in right wing with a hunter. So he's a defaultly a um, sorry, uh, left wing. So he's defaultly a left mid. So that's already a position change. And there we go. So we've got a few. Oh no, he's a right wing. Sorry. Uh, so we'll be here selling for seven point five k, two point five k on that card. Not bad. But so we sold on them. Okay. So we got Hulk. We bought for five sold for six. And Jaleo we bought for five sold for six point five. And Sims I imagine bought for one sold for two. So. Not bad. Uh, and a rare thing selling on. None of the UCL selling on. I think we got about 40 left. So uh, I think, you know, ideally they could sell on a little bit faster. But we still got four and a half hours. So we just got ourselves a great deal here with the Camahon for 5k, which is lovely. Um, something else sold on. Let's see what that is. That is a Raul Albiol. Got for 2.4k. Might have um, listed him for a little too cheap, but not bad. Camahon with uh, 4k. I think Camahon by himself. What's he worth by himself? So he's got that card for 5k. He's generally worth about, what, 4.5k by himself? Let's have a little look. Yeah, we generally paid like 400 coins for a hunter on him, so let's go see what he's going for. Please be good. Yay. Ooh. Uh, okay, 7.5k. That's not as good as I thought. I thought he'd be like a 10k player, I'll be honest with you. But I'll take 2.5k on the uh, on the likes of uh, Canon. I'll be honest with you, I'm having way better luck with the um, with the uh, like left and right mids and the tackles of hunter than shadow. Shadow of the Moon's being a, a little bit dead for me. I mean, I'll show you, because um, obviously we're one day later than yesterday. We'll show you, uh, we'll give you, you know, a good old round of how I've been doing them. So, starting off with Shadow. But yeah, last night, now obviously it does make sense, in my opinion. Like, there's way more people listing up their teams in the evening than there is in the morning. So, that you know, that's why there's going to be uh, way more um, way more deals in the evening. But it's really, really quiet right now, uh, deal-wise. So, let's get to that fifth night for a minute. Um, no, that was an overbuy, actually. Uh, I think that's not bad. Yeah, that was an overbuy. I might be getting for seven. Uh, Van Anhold, I've also made a price list of these. So, Van Anhold is a Premier League left back. Should be itself for 6.5k, actually. That's not bad. So, uh, yeah, I mean, speak of the devil, uh, of not getting deals when we get two deals. Although, that is not the same. Heading up to Ligue 1 right now, defenders. Uh, again, obviously looking for the Banat, Aguilera, uh, everything in between. See what we're gonna get, Scooby Dooby Doo. But yeah, the um the Angeleo guy, literally only gonna be a seven for about seven k. So these like he's been quiet. Yes, so we're getting burnouts left, right, and center today. Um, really hasn't been too much. Nope, he only sells for seven. Yeah, enough in the uh, Liga. Heading over to the Cacho Ugh, right now. Um, again, I also don't think I've missed many deals. So I think in general, just there, there haven't been many deals whatsoever. I tried obviously a little bit of um just sniping them for minimum and. You know, that was uh, a bit meh. So let's go and see what the fifth ninth minute has got for us in the Couch. Oh, do like doing 7k rather than 5k. I originally was doing 5k, but obviously there's so many more cards that will pop up for 7k, including uh, a lot of French wing backs. Yeah, nothing interesting. Lazaro, what's that? Lazaro's like, yeah, it's only like 6k. Nothing to the Couch either. Uh, over to the Buns League, which we always ignore. Then head over to the La Liga. So the La Liga's got us. Obviously, like Paulistas, Felipe's, guys. God damn, guys, this morning for 3.4k, but I say that was just when we were literally just looking at left backs, not uh, La Liga only. So, uh, La Liga, fifth and ninth minute, what do we have? We are going to get ourselves, going to overdo it. Felipe for cheap? Nope. Raul Albi for cheap? Felipe? No, absolutely nothing on that. And now, uh, obviously, we've got the, the new addition, which is throwing in Hunter, uh, which works really, really well. We go 5k. And right here, you're looking for players who are 3k and above. Now, we got ourselves a Richarlison, which is decent. Uh, we got ourselves a Hulk this morning, which is decent. We got ourselves a, well, we just got that Callahan. So, again, the, the Hunter's wide players are really, really working. Again, don't really like strikers on this because I really, well, I mean, there just aren't anywhere near as many expensive strikers as there are left and right mids. So, they're going for about 3, 4k. Uh, Pedro, Berwig, yeah, nothing interesting. Left and right forwards. A lot of good deals in these because people don't normally check these players. Also, to move someone from a right wing to a right forwards, another 1.2k. So, it does actually make players a little bit more, uh, a little bit more valuable. 
And finally, up for your left and right mids. Let's see, so we've got a few Premier League left backs in this run. Not bad. Uh, let's go see what the left mids can get us then. Left mids, just Pereira there, and anything interesting. Somebody just sold on, so let's go check that out, out after this. No, boy, who did it? Anything interesting? Yarmolenko, Bernadeschi, Lau. No, nothing to scream and shout about. What sold on? Three things have just sold on. Uh, there you go, more UCLs. Happy, happy days. We'll show you guys when we get some more deals. So you guys have another good deal right here with Aguilera. I just ch started to change it up a little bit. Um, just because, I don't know, I just wanted to. But I uh, got myself an Aguilera right here for 4k. Um, yeah, because rather than going through leagues, I just started looking at left backs, right backs, and then going for the leagues. Hey, there you go. Lovely. Uh, some silver selling on so on. But we just got myself an Aguilera for, I butchered his name probably three times in a row now. Uh, for 4k, I'm very sure he's a 7k sell, if I'm not wrong by my guide. Aguilera, there you go, selling for 7k, lovely. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Angelo, we've literally sold him for 6.5, so let's go this one, this one up 6.5. Didn't make any money on him, uh, but you win some, you lose some. And then we're going to go this one up for 7k, so happy days. Uh, we'll show you when we get some more deals. So I got myself some more, some more deals right here. Uh, let's see, so... We do ourselves a Felipe, uh, which I can sell each one for 6.5k. 5.2k right there, 5.5k right there. And we've got a Barcher for 5.3k, which I can sell for 6.5k. Lovely. So, right now, honestly, because deals are very, very scarce, we're just having to take uh, a, just a low amount of coins on each one, like 1k here, 2k here, rather than the ideal, like, 3, 4k profit. But it's what it is. I'll, uh, I'll take a small profit nonetheless. Little update again. Hulk bought for 5, sold for 6. Actually, no, that Hulk was bought for 3, sold for 6. How it is selling on, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to start listing these UCLs for lower, just so uh, we're a little bit safer. But yeah, just got myself a uh, Thorvin right now in, um, I think, right forward. Nope. Um, THU, THA, is it? There you go. Uh, just got me in right forward for uh, 4.6k. So it should be interesting how much we can sell them for. Not bad. Well, with Hunter, I mean, the cheapest is probably, what, 7.5? So we'll go list ours up for... We'll go 7.2k. Uh, we'll be a little bit ambitious. Unambitious, sorry. Um, but yeah, 7.2k, not too bad with the likes of him again. He's coming, coming in clutch with the, um, what's it called, the Hunter players rather than um, rather the Shadow players. But it's what it is, you know, with that. So you keep changing around the filters if we can uh, get more deals, but not bad. So we'll give you guys a little update on how everything's looking. We've just done this SVC. It's only cost us 5.5k. Happy, happy days. No, Drader was in as well. Literally everyone bought. So 5.5 for half 50k pack is not bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any problem with that. There you go. Let's go bang that in right, Hazir. Happy days. Completed that. Uh, selling wise, so, so much is sold on. Uh, you can see we have like 18 things sold on. Uh, again, get around to selling so, so many of these UCLs. A lot of the uh, Chemsoft players are selling on as well. But without well, further ado, let's go and crack on the way with half a 50k pack. Uh, that pretty good pile up on the account, so... So anyway, it's going to go with them. Uh, so if you still don't really understand the pack animation, are we going for it slowly? We're going for it slowly, which means it is at least, it's a board. It's French. It's a left back. It's going to be a Digney. Okay, Digney's nice. Digney's uh, 9k. We said, no, it's 7k, isn't he? 7.5, something like that. Uh, it's not bad. I'd take it with, uh, yeah, I mean, that's literally the money back for the SBC. Can we have some nice players in here, like a... Like a Thiago Mendes, it doesn't really sell on, but yeah, I'll take a Digny. Uh, that's decent, that's money back on um, money back on the SBC. Yeah, so we're going to go and sell a few of these and then uh, continue doing probably some more um, chemistry sales sniping. A few more good deals with the, uh, what's it called, the chem sales sniping. Uh, another Angeleo for a K on him. Uh, don't know me buy many Ismailis, but uh, how much is this one for 5.1 worth? A few things sold on as well. Felipe bought for 5.5, five, uh, bloody packed, and World Dig would have been sniped for like 200 coins. Um, where are we going? Uh, Ismani. Yeah, I could have mugged myself off. I've never bought him before. Okay, cars popping up. That's never good. Six one. I wouldn't really worry about that. When's the next cheapest on the market? I'll probably list him up for seven. Yeah, because once that once that one's gone, he's uh, he's probably quite a rare card. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, a little bit more of a pun. It'll definitely take a little while to sell on, but uh, for seven, not too bad. Uh, so we just keep on doing the uh, the chemsile trade. So we've gone to go ourselves a bunch of deals here. The um via the what's good the position. The chem cell sniping. Got Bartrus, two here for five. Be able to sell both for six, five. Boom and boom. Uh, got myself uh, Sergio Roberto. We're going to sell them for six, five. That's actually a decent one right there. Actually, wait, is it five, five? Yeah, it's five, five for Sergio Roberto. So there we go. 1.5k in each of them. Got Danny Rose. Danny Rose is sell for 6k. There's nothing too mad on him. 
And then we got Hulk who we sell for six K as well, so not too bad on uh, on those cards. Just a bunch of um yeah, bunch of chemistry style sniping. Give you guys a little update with a few things. Uh, I think that is our lot. Is that the last of our UCL cards? I believe it is. Let's have a little look. Nothing here. Nothing there. That is all of our UCL cards listed now. Okay. Okay, so let's scroll all the way over here to the end. Um, and let's look at a few of these. Uh, Rosewood bought for five, one, sell for six. This guy bought for like three, four, sell for three, uh, five. This guy got for one, sell for one, five. Happy days. Throw that from the readers. Probably shouldn't read this stuff up at 6 p.m. actually. But uh, over to claim your items right now. We've got to have a Hulk for 4k. Uh, 4.5 can be sent for 6k. And a Tossard 4.4 4, sent for 6. So not bad. Can make about 2.5k across both of them after tax. Uh, so I probably won't list that play between now and 6pm. Because um, of course at 6pm you'll have as much room on your transfer list. And uh, you know these players might be using SBCs. Although that's very unlikely. So we are going to be ending off the episode here. Now what I'm actually probably going to do is sell all these players. Because the next day I want to do... Well tomorrow I guess. I want to be doing a little bit of icon trading. So we are going to be trying to sell off as uh, as many of these shadow players as possible. I don't really mind having them in the background selling on lazy buys because, you know, I'm definitely going to have, um, definitely be having a, uh, a, well, hopefully enough coins to be able to do the uh, icon trading once we sell on all the ingers. All these ingers, by the way, for like 13k or under yesterday, and now we're just selling them for 15. Uh, I say I didn't really intend to flip them, but I kind of realised I don't really have enough coins with icon trading if I don't sell them, so... We'll be selling them on. Uh, we'll probably gain, as, as always, just sell on the guys with Shadow on. Uh, we'll probably go and sell all of our marquee matcher investments. When I picked up you into plays uh, last night for like 1.2k, not last night, but before the game for like 1.2k, going to be selling them all on for. Then they're going for about 2.3. Didn't have any buy muni players. Also, sadly, I uh, was at a, at a football game when they dropped the content. So I'm seeing left, right, and center making 7, 8, 900k on buy muni players, and I wasn't even here, you know, so. Is what it is, though, you know, so it was a good football game anyway. They won, so happy, happy days. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Sorry that there wasn't anything, I guess, madly special in it. There would have been if we could have done rash investment with UCL and Mikey matchups. And, again, I do think I would have made a few hundred K on that. But, hey, is what it is. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching day four of the Road to Glory. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. This has been a pretty mad Road to Glory to uh, day of the Road to Glory. Because we've got, probably gone from about 650K. I want to say close to a million coins now, uh, just with the amount of stuff we have in our club with like Chemstar players and so on and so on. So yeah, first million uh, within four days, not too bad. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.